Hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm Danielle. And together we are Our Time of the Month. And today we are coming at you with our favorites. Do you remember when we originally started doing this? We were like, we'll do favorites every month. I wish we would. I feel like I don't consume enough things to have favorites anymore. Well, I feel like I'm rediscovering things. Yeah, I think if we open it up to, because I think I just, I think a lot of my favorites would just be the same thing over and over and over again. That's how you know it's good. I know. We could literally just ram it down their throats until they buy it. And then we could shut up. Honestly, the Chanel moisturizer, it's my favorite. $500. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. Uh, there's no rhyme or reason. They are just the things that when somebody said, what's, what's, what have you been using a lot recently? Or what have you been really loving? This is what we would answer. This is it. And we are drinking today. <laughs> but we're drinking a de-alcoholized wine. This is Ein Zwei, Zwei or Zwe? It's mm. German. Zero. It is a sparkling rosé. It is alcohol free. The packaging is lovely. The taste is most reminiscent of a real alcoholized wine. I've tried like five or six different brands of unalcoholic wines and they're trash. This is one that I actually would rebuy again. Uh, when it, do you want to start? Okay, sure. I'll Around do that. here. Top down. Say it with us. Top down. Top down. One day we just have to get a convertible. We either need to like rent one for the day and then we can just go around top down. And we can film our intro in it. Yes. <laughs> like I'm Caitlin and I'm Danielle and in this episode of <laughs> Diner Time and Dies. Our time of the month. I'm so glad that you immediately went to Diner Time and Dies. Because yeah. when you're like, we have to film our intro, I was immediately like, the car screeches up yeah. and then we come out. And Duh. We're, like, we're Caitlin and Danielle. 100%. Our time. I love him with my whole heart, every fiber of my being. I watched his new show, Guy Vacations in Hawaii or whatever, last what? night, and I cried. What? Yeah. Really? I just think he's, I just think he's the best. Is he not doing food things? He is. Oh. He, like, is learning how spices are made and stuff. Oh, and so like, I really like that shit. Yeah. You should watch it. And he goes spear fishing, and they cook it up, and they're, like, camping out in Hawaii. It's so cool. I really want to see, oh, wait, does it and show they get his hair unstyled? Yeah. Wet and without a shirt. Ooh, weird. And they get tattoos with the tapping, the traditional. Oh, uh-huh. It was so cool. Anthony Bourdain did that. Yeah. My first favorite was recently featured in an empties video, and you saw me go through the thought process of, should I repurchase this concealer? I did. It's the NARS Potted Concealer, the Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I've been reminded as to why we loved it for years. I don't think I could live without it again. I started using it after you mentioned it. it I've is. been using it. I've been using it every day. I love it. Caitlin, I forgot. yours is really old too. Yes. You should throw it away. It's just the edges of the bottom. I'm going to be out of it in like a week. Oh, good. You can get a new one. Yes. I highly recommend it. Listen, I have been going through hormonal, hormonal changes that are wreaking havoc on my skin. I have learned wearing foundation obviously makes things look worse. It's like, hi, look at all my acne. Let me highlight it and mattify it and make it look crusty and gross. I take too long and I take a little tiny, 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 tiny brush and I'm micro concealing spots. I am not wearing foundation today. I am only wearing concealer on the honkers, okay? I'm even wearing it under my eyes. I've been reminded as to why I love it so much. It's called soft matte, but don't let that freak you out because it's not dry. It's more skin finishy than anything. It's not dewy, it's not gonna slip and slide. It stays put, it's easy to work with, so blendable. Mm -hmm. The color range is amazing. It's $30 and this lasts you for freaking ever. Yeah, you guys. I'm back on my bullshit. I love it. I have to agree. I didn't know that was gonna be one of your favorites. Ooh. So because I was, ha I had extra long nails. I mean, right. Nails. These are the nails. motherfucking new nails. Thank you, Abby Jean. So because my nails were so long before oh. and I only had the edges, I couldn't get in there without like getting it all up under my nail, which Ooh, is gross. the gross, grossest gross, 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 part gross. of having long nails. I kind of don't want to do it again. Um, so I was using a brush. Yeah. And I just. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Great shade range. They've even added new colors since the last time I remember buying it. And so I got one that's the color for me now and one for when I'm a little bit deeper because I cannot look like a Cullen Coven member anymore. I have to add some color to my face <laughs> and chest. Wow. But it's fantastic and I really think it's one of those luxury makeup products that is 100,000% worth it. Yeah, I had forgotten. Me too. I've been reminded. It's a joy. It's a dream. It was like an unseasonably warm year or like winter up until maybe like Christmas. Mm -hmm. And then after Christmas, it was just like, oh, 
16 degrees last night. It was 14 degrees when I left my house to come here. So it's been frigid and I have found myself wearing beanies more than ever. And I mean, even sometimes in my house. Toboggan. Or in at work all day. Yes. Um, it's also kind of nice because, you know, I'm not heat styling my hair as much. No, 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 no. So I just throw a fucking hat on and wear it all day. And then that's, that's my look. Um, this particular one is from Amazon. We'll link it down below. I got it in this color and black. And then they also have kind of like a Carhartt orange color mm -hmm. that I thought about getting. And then this really beautiful, this is the other color I really wanted. I and that. it's a lavender. And this one is from Loft. Um, I had a gift card that I had oh. to use up. Not a gift card, a I feel it. store credit. Oh yeah, that's nice. But too. they both keep me super duper warm. I love this one because it's, you know, you can adjust how wide the band yeah. is at the bottom. Um, and they're, they're I have, not too tall. No, but that's you can, I, like. I mean, you can make them tall if you really wanted. Like you could like do like that whole thing. You look like a gnome. But I, I don't know, I don't think, I don't know how people do this. No, don't do it. I really don't wear color all that much. Yes. Yeah, um, but I do like throwing on a pop of color with my otherwise neutral wardrobe. Uh, it and looks you know, so cute. I think people I could that. spot me during deer season, which is also a pro. Yep, because all those times we're out in the woods. In deer season? During deer season. <laughs> yeah. During rut season. <laughs> Rutten. Have you been wondering what blush I'm wearing? Yes. I'm about to tell you. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I've never asked. <laughs> You guys. Infomercial Danielle is back. Infomercial. I am so glad you said that. That's one of my favorite blooper reels of all time. It is an infomercial, people. <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and say best cream blush formula on the market. Wow. It's called the Super Cheek Cream Blush. I think they have five or six shades. This shade is called, do you want to guess what it's called? I make Mike do this. Berry Kiss. Oh, fair. Very good guess. Really? But also that always makes me think of, you know, the holiday. Yeah. Fairy kiss. Oh, is that what I thought? Fairy kiss yes. it is. Fairy kiss. Sexy berry. Sexy berry. Sexy berry on my cheeks. We're grown and sexy people. It is so thin. Wait until thin and pigmented. Like an ice skating rink in there. So easy to blend on the skin. I have never worked less for right. a better blush look. Ah, uh, yeah. I will say, I think this is what Glossier wants their blush to be. Oh, shots fired! I do. I agree. Okay, I don't know how to explain this. I've been thinking about it. Because I don't, how it is. I don't find my their blush to be this blendable. It's thin. It's super blendable. Your skin looks like skin. It does not look like I'm wearing blush. I can see my skin beneath it. It looks like I went outside in this 14 degree bullshit weather and I was just flushed. Mm-hmm. I love it, it's buildable. The shade ranges are amazing. I'm gonna buy more colors. I like it more than my nude sticks. Ooh, wow. It's a little too, there's a little too thick. And you have so many of them. There's is a little too thick. This yeah. is the texture I'm looking for. This is what I want. Yeah. The price, unbeatable. Use our code, our time sent me. $10 off your membership if you've never been a member before. You can get a whole year membership for $49 with that code. Great packaging. Yes, Same love. packaging as the yes. super genius eye thing. If you want nurse. minimal makeup that's easy, breezy, beautiful, beauty pie. Beauty pie. Beauty pie. I think we're gonna get in trouble. They're gonna hit us with like a trademark. Probably, okay. If you want effortless, this Wind swept. <laughs> no, I want to think of synonyms for oh, oh easy, um, simple, windy. We're just gonna go windy. Okay, effortless, windy, and gorgeous. Beauty pie. <laughs> effortless, windy, gorgeous. I just think I just really think you should buy it. I'm just saying, I really do. Okay, y you should buy it. Okay, I believe you. I'm gonna place like I'm gonna place an order. I need to get more colors. Mm. I'm hot for it. Okay, so um, Beauty Pie sent us a really lovely holiday gift set of the Wonder Color Cream Shadow Sticks. Mm -hmm. And the shades were, for me, just like, ugh. Is this the shade Mink? Is Yes. Yeah, that's the best one. Yes. So they had one that was like a vanilla color, one that was a blue, which I actually think in the summer will be really fun because yeah. it's, it's like an electric like blue. And then a, a pink, but it has like a reflex shift and I... I think it's just gonna be a little weird around the eyes. I have been using Cool Mink very regularly. 
and I mm. have loved it. I've actually been really annoyed because this week it's been sitting in the bag that I was supposed to have last weekend when we filmed. Oh. So I was like, where is my eyeshadow? Where is the eyeshadow? Where? And I was really sad because I couldn't use it. Oh. I, like, the easiest thing that I do usually is I actually just do like a little sideways V up into the crease in the corner and then down along my lash line and then I just smooch it out and then I'm pretty much done. Yep, it's so... It's so effortless, windy, and gorgeous. Yes. You won't even believe it. It's like a clay color, um, but the mm. formula is just, I mean, similar to it's the blush. Thin. It's thin and blendable and easy, but like once it's on there, it just feels like velvet on your mm. skin, and it just doesn't budge. It doesn't ball up in the my eyelid folds um, or anything. Really, really happy with it. I wish I just had more. Yeah, I have some of their full-size ones. Yeah, because I think this is a miniature version. They are so on par with other brands. Like, I have Bobbi Brown ones, and I have Laura Mercier Shadow Sticks. Those are probably the two most popular brands. Mm -hmm. I even have Burberry ones. I more often reach for my uh, Beauty Pie ones. This isn't even a sponsored post. It's either. not. It's genuine. We can't recommend them enough. I know. I know. I really just wish I'd gotten in on it earlier. Yeah. Because you've been singing their praises for a long time, and I was just like, okay, whatever. It's one more brand, but I get it while the getting's good. I have to go somewhere separate for it, and whatever. No, it's worth it. It's worth it. It has come to my attention that on the TikTok universe, people are talking about this new cool toy called the New Derma High Frequency Wand. If you've been with us for a while, you know it ain't new because I've been using it for years and years at the uh, suggestion of my famous esthetician, Ashby, who no longer works at that mm. spa and asked me how many times I've been back since. This is a device I've used for years and years and I've especially been reaching for it lately while my skin isn't super happy. And it's this super cool device that you plug in, you turn it up, there's like levels one to four. I usually sit around a two and a half. And it comes with three different wands that you just slide in here. And when you turn it on, it sounds a little like you might be electrocuted, but don't worry about it. It's going to be fine. Turn it on. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? And what you do is it emits high frequency waves to kind of help with active breakouts on your face, dark marks, redness. It even helps stimulate hair growth, hence the reason they give you a comb. What's the highest it goes? Four. Have you ever tried it? I've been close. It, okay, and I will say, it's not painful. It just feels like a little, it's like, it's shocking. It's like a, it's warm. Like there's heat. You, you're you feeling the heat of the zap, but look, you can even see the. Yeah, I think that's my favorite part. You see the like laser. And it, it smells a little like you might be burning, but that's okay. That's how you know it's working. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. So I use this, the smallest tool, because it's like very targeted for spot areas, and I just freaking zap them. I'm like ten seconds on each spot. I don't know if that's right. Seems like a lot. They are, oh, we're four attachments. I don't know what you're for. It looks like it goes up my butt. Heen. Well, it's just I feel like it's a flat. Oh, I like that one. This one is for more like bigger areas. You know what I'm saying? And I am in there zapping my face every night before I put on moisturizer and serums. Can you try this on my head? Yeah. I want to do it today. Okay. I'll put you at a two. Yeah, that, I feel like that won't be Do you want to do it? Sure. You're going to have to come this way. That like feels like nothing actually. You want to turn it off sure. a little? I don't know how effective this attachment is, but I really do think this helps cut down on the inflammation. It's a really great way to help speed up the healing process, mm -hmm. I would say. And I just, I like it. It makes me feel like it's doing something. Don't tell me if it's not. It, you know, I've had it forever. It still works. It was on Amazon. I'll obviously link it below so you guys can zap your face with me. Mm -hmm. And we can just be like new derma buddies. Fucking scientists Fucking over here. Just <laughs> But I have seen it making its way around the TikTok universe and I have been using it forever and I can highly recommend it and, and sing its praises because it really is fun. And it does work. She's, I do think she's it here to say I found it first. I am here to say I found it first. The next thing actually I have featured in several videos before this because I've been wearing it. It is the Natasha Dodona Lip Euphoria Gloss and Balm in the shade Chestnut. 
I got this on a whim. It was on sale. I probably I would not have purchased it if it had not been in the clearance section, which is a bad shopping habit. Don't do that. But also, wow, you like a theme here. It's a thing. It I've looks been great noticing though. like this color and this color have been popping up in my life a Are lot. Are they just um, inserting themselves into your life? Yes. Are you manifesting them? Manifesting them. This is the color that I have on my lip today. I do have it layered over top of what I wore for the last video, but I love the formula. It is a little bit thicker. It's thicker than like the Tower 28 glosses, which I also love. Mm -hmm. It has a little bit of sparkle to it, but I don't think you look at it when you're wearing it and think sparkle. Yeah. Um, it also looks hella brown, that's the name chestnut, in the tube, but I feel like actually when I put it on, it almost skews a little purple. Um, very, very happy with it. I find it, it's just so easy to wear and it's a lip color without me having to wear a lip color. Yeah. Because I have been finding myself not really wearing a lot of color on my lips, but just either like a tinted gloss or mostly it's the Tower 28. But I do love this. And it's one of those colors where it was like, oh God, I would never think that would look good on almost yes. anyone. Yes. But you've disproved that. I knew it was a gamble. Yeah, but look at you. You mm -hmm. won on that one. I do. I did. I do. I did. I did. Oh, it's Tuesday. Let's get dressed. Okay. Sound familiar? Are you having like a flash? Sammy TikTok. Recognition. Yeah. Let's get dressed. That bitch makes me want to get dressed every day. She and wants film me to, it. She wants me to try a harness. I'm this close. But you know what I did try? Dickies. Oh uh -huh. my God, you guys. So I love the look of a peekaboo collar out of a sweater or sweater dresses. That's what this is. But I do not like the bunching of the sleeves. I don't like the bunching of the bottom. What am I supposed to do with the bottom? I got to tuck it in. I got to leave it out. I don't know what to do with that. That sounded very Vince Vaughn. So I hate the whole thing. I like the look, but I hate everything else about it. So I knew these existed, but I had forgotten about them until she reminded me a little dicky. It's a little baby half, not even a half shirt. It's smaller than a half shirt. I look hilarious underneath this. It's a baby bib. It's a baby bib. And I got this one with bedazzles on it because why not? I don't have to worry about how long the sleeves are. I don't have to worry about what I do with the tail, the tucking, the what if it's too long tunic style, whatever. It's just so easy. And it even has like these little, um, I will say I've never seen that before. It has connecting bits so that it doesn't like fall down this way or come too forward this way. You have to actually put it on. Yeah. It, I'll, you know, I'll just like insert a little photo of what it looks like. I just think it's so easy and fun and what a great affordable way to just dress up or jazz up a look. I think it looks great. I cannot believe that I went for this one, but mm -hmm. I bought a plain white one and I also bought a chambray one. And I just have been wanting to m create more layered looks without necessarily wearing the full piece. Mm -hmm. And it's just a way to fake it till you make it. So here I am faking it. I'm Sammy. <laughs> Come to the next video where I wear a harness. I love it. She's so cool, but also she seems like a really nice person. What does she do for work? But what does she do for work? How is she getting all these designer clothes? So one of the only changes I made after I got my uh, colonoscopy for gastritis is that I stopped drinking coffee. I immediately, I had already gone without coffee for multiple days and I just decided, okay, that's a known, a very common irritant. I'm going to stop drinking it. So I immediately switched to tea and coincidentally around that time Danielle also was like hey Harney is having a tea sale do you want some tea I stocked up um and then also Danielle got me one for Christmas last year this was for your birthday for my year. birthday that's what it was yeah. um so there are two here I have gingerbread festival and holiday spiced black tea gingerbread fe festival will be in an empty can I smell it yeah it was oh. delightful Oh my God, it smells like the gingerbread that we used to buy from Courtney. Yes. So I think what it is, is it's like a molasses heavy gingerbread yes. and it's not a cinnamon heavy gingerbread because I don't really love cinnamon. Oh. It's soft on the cinnamon. Yeah. Mm. I feel like Carney and Sons, you never need to put sugar or honey in them. I would say this one tastes sweet. Oh. That one tasted a little bit spicy. Okay. This to me almost tastes, smells chocolatey. It does smell chocolatey. It's not at all what I anticipated. Yeah, black tea, orange peel, safflowers, vanilla, cloves, almond, cinnamon, and orange flavors. It doesn't even say chocolate, but to yeah. me it always smells like, it does like smell cherry like, chocolate. Almost. It does. Um, huh. But yeah, so I actually got a ton of the Harney and Sons teas, mm -hmm. and I have been enjoying them so much. I downloaded the app. Sometimes they only have app-only deals. Yes. Um, I just, I love 
I love the entire experience. It really just, I, it's a little bit more expensive than if I just bought some tea at the store. Although not really, because some of the some. store tea is very expensive now. There are 30 sachets in here. Yes, that's the thing is I feel like I hit them when they're on sale. Yeah. And so it is a, it's a, a deal, but it, I enjoy it. I don't know why. So much more than like a celestial seasoning. Also looking on their website is both overwhelming, but so fun. Yes. They have hundreds of teas. Yes. I love to browse their website. Me too. Mm -hmm. Instead of looking for clothes, I'll be like, let me just peruse some teas. Yes. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> What's wrong with us? We're old now. We're mature. Honestly, it's, I'm just realizing it more and more every day. I will get that. Last night, you need it. Okay. I'm going to get it again, actually, probably. Last night what? Last you tell me what you did last night, I'll tell you what I did last night. Last night, Letitia and I... So, Leti I got home at, like, 3.30. Tish worked until 5. But she came down, she said hi, and then she's like, I was just thinking of, um... Doing a puzzle? Ordering food tonight. Oh. Okay. And I was like, oh, yes, I would love to do that. Mm -hmm. And she was like, okay, great. And then we ended up, we ended up just getting pig and rooster because... I yeah, saw underground that. pizza online and I was like, I want underground pizza, but why would I bother paying a delivery fee when I can just walk across the street? And then we've been watching Yellow Jackets on Showtime. Is it scary? Oh, okay. Not so much scary. It's, I mean, it's scary, but Should it's not I watch scary. It? Yeah, it, you're not okay. going to be scared. Okay. But it is creepy. So we were like, we were going to watch the final episode last, because she was like, what are you doing tonight? And I was like, nothing. What are you doing? Nothing. Oh, okay. And I was like, do you want to work? Do you, you want to do last? nothing together? And then, and then she was like, Okay, well, what are we gonna watch after this? I was like, you know what came back? Ozark. We literally were like, <laughs> Oh, I haven't seen that either. Yes, it just launched yesterday. I haven't seen any Ozark though. Oh, oh, you have to watch it. It's so okay. good. Um, but no, oh, it's so good. So yeah, we literally watched the final episode of this season, which I don't understand. It it told you nothing. Oh, hey, we're working. Okay, so that was Sorry. your thing. Mm -hmm. Last oh, night, yeah. Mike and I cooked dinner together, and it was like six o'clock when we were getting ready to sit down and eat. And I was like, actually, this is perfect because we can eat dinner and then I can read and drink some of my N.A. wine mm -hmm. before Jeopardy comes on at seven. Get a little reading time then. Literally got so excited for that. Letitia and I literally explained when yeah. we realized that our night was going to be this show and this show and food. 100%. Tea. Are you done with your tea? Uh, you I'm, how could I possibly... What, what more? Website? What more can I possibly say? Um, I absolutely love it. We will leave a website down below. I also have tried their iced teas. Very yes. Good the passion fruit one was my favorite. It, the sweet pea. They were all good. Okay, this was an Octoly gift. I saw it online and I was like, that sounds like something I would like to test out. And so I requested it. It's the Josie Marin Argon Apothecary Intensive Daily Repair Body Butter. Eczema relief with argan oil and colloidal oatmeal. All right, let me preface this okay. with, I know it's pricier, uh -oh. but it is hands down the best body moisturizer I've ever used, ever. You're kidding. Caitlin? Kidding. You're kidding. There's no way. Okay, so I love the Mio serum. Yes. It's got like some active ingredients in it, so I wouldn't slather it on my entire body. This doesn't, and it's perfect for sensitive skin, which is what I have. It's fragrance-free, completely fragrance-free. How long have you had this? Um, like a month. It is delectable. I am not even kidding you. My skin has never been softer. I used to have like those goosebumpy feelings on my butt and uh -huh. on my back of my arms. Melasma? No. What the, are those bumps called? KP. Yes. My ass is like that of a newborn baby. A baby? Uh, Mike is even touching me a lot. He's like, your skin is so soft. Ooh. It's this. It's this. I look forward to showering just so I can put it on my body and feel like so soft and hydrated, but also it's not greasy. Mm -mm. It doesn't have a scent, so I can layer on my perfumes and it's not going to interfere. I don't smell like a cookie. I don't smell like anything. I love tons of body creams. I'm still going to use those because this is pricier. But this is something I will absolutely reach for exclusively in the winter time. I really like this because this gets, um, I have a really big issue and I didn't really realize it with, uh, having moisture, that feeling of moisturizer when you first put it on and it hasn't absorbed. Mm -hmm. I really don't like that feeling yeah. and it makes me not put moisturizer on because I don't want to feel that way. But this is like, it's like tacky now mm -hmm. and I feel like in five minutes it's just going to be gone. gone. 
And what I've learned reading about different moisturizers, and this goes for your face too, you put something on, you don't want it to moisturize your skin. You want it to penetrate your skin so that your skin retains the moisture. And that was like a whole new way of looking at it for me. And yeah. this is perfect. It says it's to soothe and comfort dry, irritated, or eczema prone skin while strengthening and protecting your moisture barrier. It's phenomenal. Like my back of my arms and my butt have never been softer, smoother, more touchable. I just want to wear it like silk and just like drape myself in velvet. Wow. Oh my gosh. So this is it. I think it's like $40. I was gonna guess 50, so. Um, but I have been crushing it. I've been using it every single time that I put moisturizer on. Wow. And I feel like I still have a lot left. Sorry to all your other moisturizers. I've um, abandoned them. A little bit, but I don't even, like. Look, you're like, don't even care. You're like, I don't oh. care. Like the texture is just, mm, I, it's really good. And the packaging, it's glass. Is it? Yeah. Oh. It's just so good. I, when it came in the mail, I was like, okay, whatever, a moisturizer. And then I used it and I was like, no, this is unlike anything I've tried. Yeah. Even the Aveeno um, eczema relief one, I used to really like that one. Mmm. No. Mmm. Mmm. It just doesn't hold a candle to Josie Marin. Mmm. The next thing I have was a gift from my brother and my sister-in-law and my niece and nephew for Christmas slash my birthday because it's around the same time. And it is this forest green Kate Spade crossbody slash shoulder bag. So it has both the short strap so that you can do it over your shoulder and then it also has a, an adjustable crossbody or you could still do it like long hanging your hip mm -hmm. with that strap. It's so good, Caitlin. It's so good. The second she said it on the table, I was like, well, da, 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 ha, ha, where did that come from? Where's that come from? Huh? And that pretty much is how I felt when I unwrapped it because I was sort of under the impression that we were like, Staying chill with the gifts this low year. Low-key Christmas. Like, low-key. It's not a big deal. And then I opened this, and I was like, oh, my God, what did you do? And she, my sister-in-law was like, I got a really good deal. Aww. And I was like, are you fucking a better? Like a, yeah. like a, like a soul your soul to the devil deal. Five dollars. To give me, yes, to give me such a lovely gift. Um, so it is a really beautiful green leather. It has so many pockets. So it has this zipper pocket in the back, and you think, oh, a zipper pocket, that's nice. But it also has the full set, like, there's a zipper pocket, and then also a pocket. Phone, keys, all the things you want to reach oh, for without nice. opening the flap. Amazing. All oh, the my things. God. And then when you open the flap, you have front pocket, and then you have two internal pockets. I didn't see the inside. Like, I can really fit some stuff in there. You could fit your water. <gasps> Get the heck out. That's a liter. That's crazy. It's not something I would have ever asked for. It's not something I would have picked out for myself because it is a color, but it's something that I really, really love and enjoy and like. It's so you. It's perfect. It's it is perfect. Perfect. But yeah, it's just so nice. And I love that it like stands up. Yeah, it's beautiful, Caitlin. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you to my family, but mostly to my sister-in-law. <laughs> I wore a cardigan that color yesterday. And two people on Instagram were like, that that color on you is so great. What I just we, what, we just started wearing exclusively this color. It is a great color, and I think everyone looks good in that color. Because it's a neutral, but it is a color. So instead of like blue man group, we'd be like green girl group. I'm fine with it. And I think it looks good with both of us. One, your hair, and yes. me, I'm super fair. Uh, my last favorite is a book that I recently read, and it is called Quit Like a Woman. It's by Holly Whitaker, and she is an alcoholic, and she wrote this book to help specifically women, understand what a life without drinking could look like. The title says the radical choice to drink in a culture obsessed with alcohol, which I totally agree with. I haven't drank for three weeks and I feel like all I see people doing or talking about is drinking alcohol. It was such a part <coughs> of, our, of my life before this and now that I've taken a step back, I'm like, oh wow, mm -hmm. it, we are obsessed with it, mm -hmm. we are. I don't know. I don't know what my plan is. I don't want to sit here and say that I'm never going to drink again. But for now, I'm not drinking and I'm having a really great time. <laughs> I feel so good. And I just feel like it's giving me the gift of time and uh, energy. I don't have to worry about feeling like crap, even after one or two glasses of wine, which would happen to me. I just think maybe my body doesn't tolerate it very well. I don't know. The reason that this isn't a favorites is not only because 
of its relationship to alcohol, but I feel like so many points in this book are applicable to many areas within our lives. And it talks a lot about how the work that you're doing, whether it's to quit drinking, quit shopping, quit making yourself throw up after you eat food, whatever it is, like there are tools in here and resources that she gives you to apply those to other areas. Mm -hmm. So it's about really taking care of yourself really focusing on you and finding happiness within yourself instead of reaching to a substance or a, you know, going to the mall or racking up a huge a Amazon cart to make yourself feel joy. And so that is something I've really been wanting to do. I would like to find happiness within myself and I'm working on that. And I just feel like this book it took me on a really great ride and I highlighted stuff and I made notes and I just feel like it's something, it's a book that I'll never get rid of because I, I have referred back to it and I think that I will continue to refer back to it for years to come. Uh, someone on Instagram actually mentioned that this book was featured in the Sex and the City reboot, which I'm, I've not been watching. I watched episode one and I watched no more. Um, so I feel like a lot of people are probably going to be talking about it right now. I actually wanted to read it last year because Jen Adkin and Chrissy Teigen both read it and they, ever since having read it, as far as I know, they have not drank alcohol and they're both pretty successful women, mm -hmm. um, who still seem to look like they have found a lot of joy and happiness in life. And I think that could be me. I haven't had a drop of alcohol and I feel so good. And I've been marking the days in my planner when I don't drink and looking at that number grow. It, it makes me feel really good. Mm -hmm. It makes me feel really proud of myself. I've never gone this long without drinking. Really? I've never done a dry January. Mm. I've never taken part in any like sober Octobers or anything like that. So I'm just, I'm just doing this now in the moment and we're going to see what happens. But I will say I feel like this was so eye-opening. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I really do think everyone should read it regardless of your relationship with alcohol because I do think that it will make you be a little bit more self-aware. Mm -hmm. And also she talks about how AA was created by men in the early 1900s and it sort of uh, favors the patriarchy. And this is about how, as a woman, you can sort of rewrite that narrative and take back the power and, and do things for yourself. Mm. And so I just thought that was a really good message. So, um, also I think it's a really pretty cover. I was about to say because I I really like the cover. Yeah, mm -hmm. I thought it was great. And I, I like I'm not sitting here diagnosing myself. I don't think that I'm an alcoholic. I think I've had an an unhealthy relationship with alcohol at times in my life. I've definitely used it as a crutch. Mm -hmm. I don't really know many people that haven't in my personal life. And so, even if this just completely shifts my perspective, it's done its job. Yeah. Um, equally important. Totally. Clogs. <laughs> God, I love a clog. Um, so I was having an issue that at work, my feet were getting really cold. Are you I, having an is issue? Shoe? Shoe? An issue. 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 Good one. Congrats. Thank you. 10 points for Gryffindor. Um, I work in a converted row home, so heating and cooling it is not the most efficient and like insulation wasn't a thing when it was built in the 1800s. Um, so yes, my, while the most of my body will be warm at work, my toes will sometimes just get really cold. Um, and I don't have like Uggs or anything or something else. So when it was around the holiday time and every, everyone was doing Black Friday sales and all those, I found these, uh, Sherpa lined leather or suede clogs from J Crew. Was it Factory J Crew? They were $19.99. Oh, perfect. Actually, they might have been discounted on top of that. Yeah. It might have been an additional like 20% off I of that. I see one. I yeah. won't smell it. Please don't. I know it makes you freak um, out. But they, I literally just will get to work. I will wear my like cute shoes to work and then I will immediately get to work and slip these on. Part of it is also I have a standing desk and if I wear like a heeled booty or mm -hmm. something like that, I don't necessarily want to be standing in that 24 seven. And these have um, a, like a leather, like a sort of Birkenstock type footbed. Mm -hmm. And while it doesn't have the, the toe support that Birkenstock has, which I wish it did, mm -hmm. um, it's still just extremely comfortable to wear and gives me more arch support than my like loafers do and yeah. stuff like that. If someone comes into my office, I don't necessarily want to be wearing the slippers. So I want to like remove my foot and put it into my shoe very quickly. And I couldn't do that with the slippers that I have because gotcha. you have to pull them on. Like it's just more conspicuous to put them on and take them off. Oh, we're almost done, babe. So cute. We're almost done. That's it. 
Oh, oh, I thought you had one more. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's it. That's everything. That's all the things we're loving right now. Yeah. Which I feel like these are good. These are real good. I really like how varied they are. Like we got a little bit of everything going on. I agree. Mm -hmm. Lots of self care. Yeah. Not enough snacks. Let us know what your favorites are in the comments below, please. And thank you. We're always willing to try something new. It, totally. That's a tenet of our personalities is that we like to try new things. Yeah. Oh, watch our last video. Watch our next video. Go ahead and watch all the videos. Go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe. Go ahead and ring the bell for notifications so you never miss out on a new video. Go ahead and find us on all of the other social medias. Go, Go ahead, ahead and share it with your friends. The Face Place and the My Book. My Face and Facebook. Sure. <laughs> Those two. <laughs> your face. Our faces. Mm -hmm. All the faces. What? I don't know. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Terry. Yeah, I love Terry. I miss Terry. I don't really look at her anymore. I do. But I don't scroll Instagram. I only watch stories. My Instagram is actually really fucked. I can't even get into my personal one. D don't even know. But somebody tried to the other day because it got a password reset. Oh, really? I think yeah. That's weird. No, my personal it's Instagram, the feed is no one I know. Huh? Like, I'm actually, I'm Are always, hacked? I don't know because, but it's like, I don't know. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Mm. We genuinely appreciate it. We do. What's our, what are you wearing in your mouth? Oh, I'm wearing a Beauty Pie lip balm. Oh! In the shade Sexy Berry. <laughs> okay. What are you, oh, you already told us what you're wearing. Just not. Lip Euphoria. Oh, uh, yep. Okay, that's it. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, we're gonna.